Welcome to Inside PTI, the weekly videos designed to give you the trial results you want, the agronomy explanations you need, and insights that will set you up for success this growing season. Today we're going to look at a study that involved both Keaton seed firmers and different downforce environments. You know, if we step back to 25 years ago when seed firmers first came on the market, studies routinely showed around a seven bushel advantage to running a firmer versus not. With every ear on a thousandth of an acre being worth about seven bushels, it equated to about one additional ear per thousandth of an acre, or a thousand more ears on an acre. Now, in recent studies, in the last maybe six to eight years, a lot of these returns have diminished. So we're down around that three bushel mark, typically, with Keaton seed firmers in studies in the past few years. So we started to wonder, well, what's changed? Is it the hybrids? Is it that there's just not an advantage? What's different? So Roger, in our product support department at Precision Planning, said, have those planners that have run the recent studies been equipped with downforce control? And they had been. And so he said, I bet it's the downforce control system that is limiting some of the advantage. So we ran a study this year at the PTI farm where we ran four passes. We ran correct downforce with and without seed firmers, and then light downforce with and without Keaton seed firmers. What we found where we ran correct downforce was in tune with what we've been seeing these past few years. 2.9 bushel advantage to running seed firmers versus not. Now, where we ran light downforce, we set the, the downforce system manually. So we were simulating a spring set to light, not maintaining gauge wheel weight throughout the entire pass. And then we ran with and without Keaton seed firmers. And guess what? It was a 6.9 bushel advantage to running seed firmers where, the, where we lost ground contact or had light downforce compared to light downforce without seed firmers. So very interesting that 25 years later, those same results hold true when we're running in a light downforce environment. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is that both downforce control and seed firming both matter when it comes to maximizing yield and return on investment. For more information, reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer or email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you next time on Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.